We have Saving Private Ryan set up, right, Garrett? Hand off, let's go, keep it out. I really enjoy coaching here. This place has the right balance for me, you know, academics first. Our student athletes are regular people. They, they mix in the community. There's no special treatment. Let's go, Brett, let's go. It's funny, I only have two rules. Play hard and have fun. And that means compete on the court. Pass it, move, get out. We want to play hard, we want to have fun. We want to play harder than the teams we play against. That's it, good, Brett. We're really just trying to continue to build and grow as a team. Practice. We, we play a lot of games. I mean, almost everything we do is games. Uh, we, everything's a competition. We don't do that many drills, which is awesome. I mean, we just compete, play hard, and honestly, games are a lot easier than practice, which is great. Uh, I mean, Coach does a good job of making it hard for us every day. Jump ball, but I'm going to give that to Green right here. Side out for A hard working practice the whole two hours or however long we go. Very physical and I mean, we're not trying to hurt each other, but I mean, we have to compete to make each other better. Watch the slip guy, watch LeVon. Coach Pat says nice. he's, he's a fiery guy. Uh, he's passionate and wants to win and I think it rubs off at us. I mean, we won eight games my sophomore year, won 20 my junior year, I mean, this is Coach Patos. Mike, do you want to play today? Show us. Let's get in you, but I mean, he's doing that to make you a better basketball player. You could have rolled right there. Some coaches are quiet, some coaches are loud. I mean, he's loud and quiet. He can do both, but it mixes things up. Fellas, we're going to do this all day until someone starts playing tough. We got no one to kick someone in the butt, but more importantly, we got no one to pat him in the butt. And one. That's it, LeVon. That's going hard. You know, my generation, run through a wall. OK, coach. Now, have you explained to him why you want him to run through a wall? And the players today, if they know you care, you can get on them. But if they think you just don't care, and that's why I do a lot of the cultural stuff, shows we care. I give them articles every day, whether it's from Vanity Fair, the New York Times, or the sports page. I force feed them culture, and hopefully it shows up one day. I actually knew what to expect because I was recruited by him from Loyola, and so I actually followed him here. These are the hurdles you will face as individuals and as team members. He loves right. to talk, and I mean, you could sit down and talk to him whenever. You could call him on the phone, text him. That's the thing about Coach Patsos. I mean, he cares more of you as a person than a basketball player. I mean, of course, he wants you to be successful as a basketball player, but he wants you to be an all-around person. I'm not just going to let him be basketball players, and I like that coaching college, and that's been really good in my philosophy. We go to museums. We go to funky movies. I take him to all kinds of different places, and that's kind of how we roll here. Let's go. We're learning new things. I just talked to my team about Veterans Day and why we're so free, and I show him Saving Private Ryan. Okay, you can stop it there, Garrett. You can turn the lights on, okay? Go to the beginning, the very beginning, when they're in the cemetery. I went to that cemetery, Levon. That's why we speak English and not German. That was the turning point of the war. They had to sacrifice a lot of people. World War II was a changing moment for the world. And that's why I think it's important that you understand. Take inventory of yourself and how lucky we are to all live where we live, to be the people we want to be. In 2014, whether you're white, black, Greek, Irish, whatever, you can just be who you want to be. It's because that war was fought. Because had we not won that war, the world would be a very different place. I think it's right important there. that these guys get exposed to stuff, and then if they don't absorb it, that's okay. But a lot of coaches go, I'm just not even gonna try. Like, I'm gonna try and teach them about life. I think it's a fascinating journey, whether we're in the Haight-Ashbury in San Francisco checking out the hippies, or talking about Harvey Milk and the Castro. And if we go to Dartmouth, we talk about Robert Frost. We're all from so many diverse places. I got a Nigerian and a guy in a Netherlander. And it just goes to show you, basketball can bring so many different type of people together. We got guys from all over the place. We got guys from Nigeria, California, from Illinois, a lot of Maryland. You know who we can count on? Ourselves. That's who you can rely on. You can rely on the people in this room every day. So, I mean, we're all over the place, but we have great team chemistry. Just a great group of guys who really meshed well last year, and that's just continued. Everybody's got to contribute. That's why it's called a team. That's why it's called a team. Sienna on three. One, two, three. Sienna. We're in the locker room. Let's go.